Hi, my name is Lisa, and this is my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be reacting to the first short film I ever made. And I'm smiling now because I know it's going to be really bad. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let me put on my headphones. May I join you? I wouldn't have the balls to jump off this roof. Like that, okay. You gonna do it? I don't know what I'm doing. Good start. That. Oh, the nurse is building. Give me one. Now that's one way to kill yourself. end up being very disappointing. Oh, well, I just care. You think it's disappointing that I'm alive? No. I think life in general is disappointing. You simply prove my point. Disagrees. He said this would be a healthier alternative. But hey, why are we gonna do it? I wanted to get out of work. Okay, so what's your reason? I hate work. Okay, what's your real reason? I really hate work. I am so glad you are not my first. You don't even have a real reason. You are insane. So you gonna tell me? It's the same crap. I feel worthless. I'm bored with my life. Whatever. And you came around for real. Well, maybe you can do it another day. Maybe I will. What do you do if you hate someone so much you wish they died? Simple as that? It's not simple. Thanks, by the way. I'm ruining it for me. You're welcome. Oh, goodness. Well, I can tell you what I liked. I liked how it looked. Like, I like, except for that, like, off-kilter shot. I'll put the, like, screenshot of the, how off-kilter it was. Of the nurse's building when I used to go to UNCP, UNC Pembroke. Um, but yeah. I liked the shot where she turned on the lamp. I liked 
when they when she was walking down the hall. I can't rem remember what movie I saw that in, but I know I wanted to do it. I'm sure I could look up like all the reasons why I wanted to do these shots, but well, yeah, there was a lot of slow motion too. I remember doing that just to fill the time because <laughs> it had to be um, five minutes or less, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be short, so I might as well add some some slow motion." Um, I guess I can go over the script. Let me just look at it on the roof. Here it is. And I, ooh, you should see, I'll take a screenshot of the, um, the formatting, it's all wrong. <laughs> okay, it says night interior, so it doesn't say interior night, it says night interior. Night interior, the bathroom of Anne. The room is fully lit, charming and spacious. Anne scrolls through her contacts. Her father and her mother are seen, many friends are seen. She still looks unhappy. She sits with the corners, with layers of covers around her. Her blind is open and the night sky is seen. She looks at it and it looks back at her. A clock is seen. She gets up and leaves her room. The hallway of her building seems unending. She gets into the elevator. The camera is always off center when capturing her. Close up, her eyes dart back and forth. They seem to be searching for something to look at. She finally closes her eyes and looks out of breath. Another person gets in the elevator. She pulls her face into a limp smile and the other person smiles back. She sits. She walks into the nursing building over the shoulder. We ascend the stairs with her. Yeah. Don't mind that. It's not that bad. Um. That guy in the elevator, we just met him. And then we were like, do you want to be in this movie? And then he was like, okay. And then we made him sign like one of the forms to be in the movie. Um, and yeah, it was... <laughs> that was... I, I, I don't know. I, thinking back to shooting this, it was really fun. I mean, except for the really annoying, like, hard parts with the sound. The sound at the end, like that part where you can't understand it. That was the hardest part. Like, I can tell a story about that. I mean, I guess I can. I guess I will. But, okay. It says, the bedroom of the nurse. He's just called the nurse. The bedroom is dark. The only light is the moon through the blinds and the light shines across the nurse's back. The nurse looks towards the light. He harbors a vacant look. Around this room we see a clock and an hourglass. He leaves the frame and the light covers the bedspread. On his bed sits a notebook with two words written on it. Memento Mori. Let me Google what that means. Artistic symbol reminder of the inevitability of death. That's why he's got the... That's why I remember he's got the hourglass and everything. I don't remember if I put the hourglass in there. I think it's in some other room. I can't remember. Um, yeah. And then... Nurse walks around campus. Light marks his path, but he seems to avoid it. them like they burn on contact over the shoulder. The nurse walks while his keys jingle in his hand. As he walks, the viewer only sees part of him. His face, his hands, clutching his keys, his feet. All from the perspective of someone watching another. I remember writing this and like... I wanted it to be so complicated, but it had to be more simple because it was the first time I ever like made a film. Um, wide. When his whole body is seen, his frame door sits surrounding. He finally approaches the nursing building. When he enters the building, it looks as, as, it, as it has swallowed him. I don't know if I accomplished that, but I really tried when he walked into the building. Because it was such a big building. And so, like, tall. So I think I did it. I don't know. I'm not going to read the whole script because it's too long. But... Well, it's only four pages. But I'm not going to bore you with that. Enter interior nursing building. The nurse is seen to walk up the stairs from the outside of the building. We hear nothing but footsteps and keys. While he, while he hears the sound, we also observe the sterile countenance of the building. All the while hearing his footsteps and keys. The lights in the interior ceiling resemble eyes. The empty hallway, the beauty of the building. 
The nurse walks into the bathroom. When he comes out, he sees Anne ascending the steps. Her face is as pensive as his was. His interest is piqued. He follows her up to the roof. Okay, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm gonna put in screenshots of the whole, the whole script, um, so you can see what it looked like, see how wrong it was. Uh, I'll show you a screenshot of a script I'm writing now. Show you the right format. Huh, okay, I'll just show you a one of one I wrote. Interior grocery store day. A woman stands by a deli counter and the sound of air conditioning and pumping mach baking machinery fills the air. A spiderweb hangs on a nearby side swaying in the artificial breeze. On a new nearby table sits her phone, a pen and a blank piece of paper, a blank piece of notebook paper and a face looking down. A customer walks by the counter ironing her. Woman, voiceover. Don't look, don't look. The woman behind the counter fiddles with her name tag. It reads Liz. Customer. Hello, Liz. Hello, can I help you today? Customer. No, I'm fine. I think I'll get something down here. The customer motions toward the pre-sliced meats and cheeses below her. Liz with a smile. Okay. The customer walks away. She looks down at the floor in relief. She looks over to a book. It is Story, Style, Structure, Substance, and the Principles of Screenwriting by Robert McKee. Okay, that's the first page of that. But, um, but yeah. That's one I wrote when I was writing down ones for uh, the script writing contest I'm going to be doing, uh, like now, <laughs> that's right now. And I, um, yeah, wrote that for that script writing contest. Instead of going with and turning in this screenplay, I decided to go with a short version of my feature length screenplay that I'm writing. And, uh, yeah. But, do I really have any comments for On the Roof? I'm gonna watch it again without the sound on. But I really like the music. Like, I always remember that I like that music. And I like my actors. I remember, um, all these scenes. How we were all set up in her room. Well, this wasn't her room. I think this was my other friend's room. Yeah, this was my other friend's room. And that was my dorm. And that was one of the theater guys. I just like went through the theater department and I was like, who wants to be in my movie? <laughs> and I found him. He's a good actor. He moved. But hopefully he's successful. Hopefully you hear about him. I can't really I can't remember who he borrowed that lanyard from. There's a scene where it's supposed to be swallowing him. I guess I kinda of pulled it off, but I don't know. <laughs> oh those cigarettes, I remember those cigarettes. I can't remember. we were all eighteen at the time, so we could buy cigarettes. And I think he just went in there and bought like I could see that they were green. Let me look up what type of cigarettes those are. Let me pause the video for a sec. I guess those are the, like the most general ones you could buy. I guess so. But he just went to that gas station and that was the first time he ever smoked cigarettes. And he couldn't light it like at all. That's why the um, actress who's in this, she had to um, help him and so did I. <laughs> see that's why she's helping him in that scene right there. Um, but yeah, I really liked that scene. I really liked how the building was shaped so I could shoot like into it instead of having to be inside of it all the time. Like I liked the glass. Oh, I like that shot a lot.
we just went to this like stair let me pause it we just went to this uh, this like thing that opened onto the roof and there was little stairs so we were like so I was like I saw it every time I left my dorm because I, I lived on the top floor of my dorm and I um so I was like oh let's just do that so we can pretend that's how they got up on the roof um but yeah we weren't actually on a roof <laughs> people who watched it thought we were but we weren't actually on a roof we were just on a little ledge outside the, um what building was it outside of the science building is there a science building at Pembroke <laughs> I'm pretty sure but we were outside just on a ledge somewhere it wasn't it was like a foot or two down to the ground but you can see how he's like can't light the cigarette because he never smoked before because he's an actor <laughs> just pretending we didn't know whether to make him wear a shirt under his scrubs or not <laughs> I don't yeah I don't I still don't know if people wear like shirts under the scrubs I assume they wear like a tank top or a wife beater or something under there but I don't he didn't wear any shirt under his scrubs I don't know why she chose the pigtails I wasn't like really controlling with this I didn't make I only I just had her pick what she was wearing that day and I was like okay we'll shoot in whatever you're wearing that day and I guess she had her hair that way that day and, and I said okay just wear it that way and then she just had to wear it that way for the whole week <laughs> but, yeah and she had to wear the same clothes that whole week that we were shooting for campus movie fest but I don't mind the shots like in black and white that are turning back wanted it to be all dramatic there's the up close shot of her reacting to when he jumped we made me and the director of photography we made that sound by um like smashing some pillows against the against the floor or something I think somebody had a bottle just to make the crack of like bones or something it was kind of grotesque but yeah that is reaction to my first movie thanks for watching bye